Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So today is um, Tuesday, guys. Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday, and it's like 3.20 in the afternoon. I'm coming on. I was going to try to come on this morning, but I was rushing around, of course. I had an 11 o'clock eye appointment for an eye checkup and all that, and uh, I just didn't have enough time. I, I was running around like like without, without, with a, with a, I was running around like a chicken without a head that I even forgot to give Cooper his food. I heated it up, put it in the microwave, I heated it up, and I literally left the house and didn't give it to him. I got home and I saw something in the microwave. I'm like, what the hell is that? And then I'm like, oh, I never fed Cooper his food. Guys, and I didn't even remember the whole three hours I was out. Hello, like what's going on in this brain? It's just overwhelmingness, you know what I mean? It's just stress and all that. I felt so bad, what a bad pet mother I am, right? <laughs> felt so bad. But I got home, He, I discovered it, I heated it up again, I mixed it up, I gave it to him, he, he ate, he was fine. And he had his dry food right sitting right there, so if he was really hungry, he could have had his kibble. So I'm not, you know, he wasn't starving, but I just felt horrible. So anyway, I didn't have a minute to, 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 to say good morning or anything. Got my eyes checked. It's a yes, check, check up, positive. Everything with the diabetes is good. There are a couple of tiny little spots in both of my eyes, which is a diabetic sign. It's a sign that you have diabetes, but she said it's nothing to worry about. She didn't even, she couldn't even see the little dots when she looked in the projector thing at my eyes. She saw it. She had to look really hard on the picture, you know. Everything else with my eyes, behind my eyes, all of that is, is all good. I have no disease or anything like that, so I'm very happy. I definitely need glasses. I was so excited because I could stop wearing these Gatsy things all the time. Because I need, I wear my readers all the time, you know. So now I, I'm getting, in two weeks I'll have my new glasses. I can't wait to show you guys. I literally took a picture of it, but I'm not, I'm going to I'm going to wait for you guys. I'm going to wait, I'm going I'm to wait to show you guys. They're really pretty, so... There, I got one pair of glasses. They have the bifocal, they have the bifocal line because I'll, I need them for distance and I need them for um, reading. So I'm so, so excited. So these readers, I'm going to keep until I get my new glasses and then I'll keep a couple in my drawer just in case, go off of it or anything. I got the protection plan on, on the new glasses. So I just got to be careful because you know me, I'm a little, you know, forgetful and this and that and the other thing. I don't want to lose them or break them or whatever. So. Let's just hope it, you know, doesn't happen that way. But anyway, I'm very, very excited about that. So we got my glasses. Well, we ordered my glasses. I hate that you can't take the glasses home. I hate, I hate that you can't get your glasses right there. It's annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying. But anyway, it is what it is. So my hair is kind of funky. I had it in a, in a, in a, in a, in a headband. And I just went and put some, um, some, um, stuff in it to give it a little bit of curl. I don't know. It's just uh, it's it's due for an overdue. Um, Julia, I have to make an appointment with her because she's like the you know she has such a busy life with working and just her life with, with training for the um, the um, the five k and all that. She doesn't have much time. So we usually me and Ju me and Jenny usually go on a Sunday to her salon and we do it there uh, because it's just easier to do it in the salon than it is to do at home. Um, I mean, she could do it at home, but it's just easier. So it's probably not going to be for like two weeks. And meanwhile, I had gray and my hair just needs a little trim. And so just bear with me with my hair, guys. It is, it is what it is. I can't, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry I have to subject you to this funky hair, but that's the way life is sometimes. Um, so what else? What else was I going to say to you? So, yeah, so I, I you know... I, I had a little bit of a crazy morning. In fact, I, I, I have to pause for a minute and I have to call Alice, make an appointment. Um, I have to, uh, there's something else I had to do. Oh, I have to make a, a doctor's appointment for my, to go for my um, visit, you know, to get my vitamin levels checked and all of that before I buy my vitamins. I want to make sure that um, I'm going to be using the ones that I buy because they're expensive. So, yeah. So anyway, so it's 3.30, and I don't know what we're making for dinner tonight. This is probably going to be a what's for, yeah, this is going to be a what's for dinner. I'll just add a what's for dinner onto this because it's 3.30 already. I just don't know what we're going to have tonight. 
I went downstairs, I had chicken down there, which I either have to put in the freezer today or cook it for Cooper or for us or whatever. I just unchickened out. We had chicken for lunch. We went to Chili's today for lunch. We stopped and had a little lunch, me and hubby together alone by ourselves. It was very, very nice. So we had chicken for lunch, so I don't want chicken for freaking dinner because we eat chicken, chicken, chicken. We're gonna grow freaking chicken feathers. I mean, I love chickens, but you know, I don't want them hanging from my ears. Anyway, so I don't know. I have some chopped meat in there that I can make like a meal with, like a cut, like a like a casserole or something. I don't know if I want that. I don't even know what I want anymore. I'm tired. I'm getting bored with stuff. What do I want? I don't know. I have to figure it out because it's 3 30. Um, yeah. We got to figure that out. <laughs> Guys, we went to Walmart, right? Because I had to pick up a couple of things. I had to get a modium. Sorry about the TMI because I know some people don't like me to talk about the D word. My stomach issues. I'm very sorry. And that's, you know, the way it is. Um, I had to pick up a modium. I had to pick up. Um, we had to get a few things. Um, so, but I wanted to get new Crocs because I really love, I love my Crocs. They're, and I don't buy the real expensive Crocs. Like. I buy the ones in Walmart, you know? And so I had a white pair, and the white pair is, like, really, like, you know, getting dirty, and, like, I, I scrub them, but they don't always come so clean. So I said, I gotta, I want to get a new pair of Crocs. So hubby took me over there to Walmart. We were right over there by the eye place. It was right, was more, Walmart was right, right, right there. So I had to go into Walmart. So I was so good, guys. I didn't even go into the food section. I didn't even go into the food section. Yeah. So wasn't that good? We didn't go to the food section, which was so rare for me. Um, anyway, I wanted to get new Crocs, and I got new Crocs, and they're so freaking cute. I think Julie has these, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure she has these. Look at how cute these are. They didn't have much of a selection. They had like a tan color, and they didn't have my size, and they had um, a couple of other funky colors that were weird. And I saw these, and these are so cute. Are they adorable? Look. Like tie-dye kind of things. And these are these, these were $24. You know, they're like the Walmart brand freaking Crocs. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, aren't they adorable? So happy. And they're so comfortable. I'm going to go back there next week, and I want to see if I can get another pair in a different, like, you know, a different color. They had black, but I didn't want black because I have white, and I didn't want black. I just wanted, like, a different kind of color and they had um these so i thought these were adorable i also got a shirt let me go get the shirt and show you the shirt yeah so this shirt was um as we were getting going to the register i saw it hanging up it was really pretty i wanted to get they had a um i think they had a they had a purple too yeah i think that what was the other color they had i think it was purple but they didn't have my freaking size so i couldn't get it so this is actually a is this a large yeah um, this is nice, you know, for the, for the spring and stuff, because I like the thin, you know, short sleeves. It's only 10 bucks. So, um, like I said, I, they had black and the color, uh, the darker colors that I didn't want. I'm just very into really like light colors now. I just want light colors and, you know, for the spring and stuff. Anyway, it is what it is. It's fine. But, um, yeah, so they had this one. This was a large and this one, I mean, I don't even know. It might be a little big on me. I didn't get an extra large because the extra large is really big. And this is a large, so I don't know. We'll see. If it doesn't fit, I'll, I'll switch it for the medium. You know what I mean? But, yeah, it was $10. Isn't that cute? Walmart, Walmart. And like I said, if they would have had some more colors, I would have got, like, three of them because I love these type of shirts for the summer, for the spring. You know, um, in the spring, I like in the summer, I like to wear a lot of um, tangs, you know, um, shirts with no sleeves and stuff like that to just because I'm hot, hot all the time or whatever but um, I also like these type this type of material but like I said this looks kind of big this large looks really big Bill 
it. Yeah, I have to try it on and see if it fits, make sure that it fits okay. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so that's what we did. got at Walmart. Amongst some other things. What else did we get at Walmart? Oh, we had to get Tylenol. What else did we get? You don't know? I don't remember either. We both don't remember because we both are, our brains are shot. pressure on me. Stop it. <laughs> so, guys, listen, last night, last night I was laying, I, I, I was coloring, right? And I was really getting, like, tired. I just wanted to, like, lay down. Like, I'm, I don't want to color anymore. I'm tired. Billy wasn't home yet. It was like 11, it was like 11, 15. So I laid myself on the couch, put the TV on, got myself all cuddly in my blanket, put my, you know, my pajamas were on already. I showed you guys my pajamas yesterday. Um, cuddled under the blanket, went to sleep. And all of a sudden around midnight, I looked at, yeah, I, after what happened, I, I woke up to something going crazy on the couch and it was Cooper having another seizure. Guys, it was so violent. It was so violent. I just, I'm telling you, it is the most disturbing thing. The, 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 the most disturbing thing is to see your child have a seizure. Jennifer, you know, had used to have seizures when she was younger. She had a different type of seizure. Jennifer had grand mal seizures where, and she's a person, obviously. Her eyes would roll back behind her head and she would just be like, you know, out. Cooper has this crazy twitching mouth wide open uncontrollable violent seizures that i just want to run away from them i don't even want to be there but so i ran over to i ran over to him he was right there on the couch because me i was i got the blanket because when he when he has a seizure he drools like it's there's no tomorrow so he had his blanket there and my blanket was there also, but he had his blanket, so I put the blanket underneath his mouth just so it wouldn't go all over the couch, you know, because it does, and then I have to clean it, and what is what it is. But, um, so it, it was very, very violent and very intense, but thank God it lasted, I mean, I don't know how long I was sleeping and he was having it. He could have been doing it for, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but I, 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 I'm, I'm hoping that I woke up right when it happened, you know, I, I don't know. What? I don't know, but anyway, it lasted a couple, it lasted about maybe 10, 15, 20 seconds the most. He calmed down, he came out of it. But let me tell you something. I noticed this, the last seizure he had, which was about seven weeks ago. Um, the last time he had a seizure, he was very, very, very disoriented. He's always disoriented after the, after the seizures. It's very normal. I know that, I know that. But the last one he had, he was a little bit, more disoriented than ever last time and like he nibbled a little bit and he was like he just looked like a different dog he wasn't like his his self and it was a little scary because I didn't you know I didn't understand what I didn't know what he was could do or you know I just didn't know I, I, he was just not himself so anyway he came out of that and he was okay and everything was fine and then this time it happened again where he literally was like walking into the walls. He got off the couch and he fell and he was like, you know, he tries to get up right away and that's, and he was just so disoriented still and he was, you know, walking around, he was like banging into things and, and it was scary. And then like he, he came over to me and he like started nibbling like on my shirt and like nibbling my, and like, you know, putting his, like biting my hands and, and trying to get the, and trying to bite the remote and like, and the couch and just, and, he kept coming over to me like and being a little bit not aggressive but a little bit like i don't know pushy like you know a little aggressive on me this you know and, and and it scared me because i didn't know if he knew who i was because you, when you looked at him he just i just like you could look through him like you know he just looked like a completely different dog he was looking at me like who the fuck are you lady or who the sorry who the hell are you lady that's the way I felt. So it was funny because I was, I was, Jerry Ellen and I were texting and it was late. We text at night sometimes because we both can't sleep and everything else. That's a whole different story. But anyway, she texted me something and I said, oh my God, Jer. And I told her what happened. I said, Cooper just had a seizure and 
I'm so scared. He's he's so disoriented. He's nibbling. Like he he nipped me a couple of times. And she's like, oh God. She goes, get just get separate yourself from him right now because you he's not himself and it's nothing that he can control and that's the thing. He's disoriented. You need to separate yourself. So I I I got my phone and my drink or whatever. And I came in the kitchen and we have a gate, you know, our gates that we have. So I left him in there and um, and he was walking around and he got his toy and he was like just walking around staring at me and just holding it. And he just was not himself. And it took him about 10, 15 minutes. He came and he laid over by the gate um, and was just laying there and like fell, fell asleep and relaxed for like, I let him relax for like 15, 20 minutes. And then he got up and, and he was seemed himself, so I let him out. He wanted to go out, so I opened up the gate. He went out, he came in, and he was back to himself. But I was afraid. I was really afraid because I didn't, I don't know what he would do. And he is so strong like a bull that I didn't want to get my face ripped off. You know, he's part pit, part mountain cur, and the, and, and the mountain cur in him is very strong, and the pit is very with that jaw. So I didn't want to take a chance. So, uh, you know, Jerry, she was helpful. She's like, Linda, just just separate yourself from him, you know. And my, my son was sleeping in the bedroom, so I wasn't going to wake him up or anything like that. I just, you know, I separated myself, and it was all okay. And then he was back to himself. But it's scary. It's freaking scary. Not only that, but every time he has a seizure, because he's going to have one every couple of months, every six to eight weeks. What if every time he has a seizure... It does this to his brain and he starts getting to be a different dog. It's very scary. It's very disturbing and I don't I don't know. So I'm gonna wait and see if he has another seizure because the doctor said if he has one or two by the time before we take him back to the vet in two months, then we'll put him on the we'll put him on the extra pill. But I don't know if I should call her and let her know about the little bit of aggression or She'll probably just say to me it's normal because of the he was, you know, disoriented. So I, I'm not really worried about that. If he has another one and it happens, then immediately I will call her and see what, what we have to do or whatever. You know what I mean? I, I just, I just, it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's just disturbing. It really is. And, and it just like, it just like weighs on you, you know? You see this poor thing that you love so much go through this, this this horrible twitching and just looks like a if he wasn't an animal I'd say oh my god he looks like an animal you know what I mean it's just it's, it's just really hard so anyway that was last night and so I didn't go to bed till probably two o'clock in the morning Billy came home he didn't get home till like one what time did you get home like 1 30 something like that after two Oh, he didn't get home till after 2, so I didn't go to bed till probably like 2.30 or something. Got up early this morning. Well, around 9, I think we got up. 9, 9.30, 9.45, something like that. And we had to be at the eye doctor at 11. So uh, we had to go to the pharmacy. We did that. And then we went to the uh, eye doctor. And then we went to, went to Walmart. And then we, um, where else did we go? That was it. What? What? Oh, uh, yeah, we went to Chili's for a little bite to eat. We had some uh, food. It was good, delicious and good. And knock on wood, um, I didn't have the D word yet. And I also had um, a small Dunkin' Donut iced coffee. And so far, I'm okay. So, yeah. So, so, that, so that's good. Um, so, I'm going to get started now on figuring out what we're going to have to eat. It's 3.40, so I'll be back in a second. All right, people, so what I'm doing is I'm making, did I, did I say what I'm making? I don't remember. No, I think, I don't know if I did. Anyway, I'm making, um, I have leftover, well, not leftover, but I have another bag of the, um, of the, um, fr of the fish that I had made for the fish tacos the other night. I have a whole bag of that, so I'm going to make that, and I'm going to make some shrimp scampi with shrimp, obviously, shrimp scampi. <laughs> And I'm going to make some rice. I'm going to make the rice, um, and then I'm probably, um, I'm going to make it like seasoned rice. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. So, right now, I'm going to cut up an onion, a small onion. I'm going to cut up some garlic, because what I want to do is do that first before I put the water in for the rice. 
because I want it to be flavored, flavored with olive oil, garlic, and um, and I actually have. Um, let me think. Give me a second. Yeah, I have. Um, it's not up. It's not down there. What? It's not down there? No, I, 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 I didn't rip anything apart yet. I'm asking if you know where it was. Uh, honey, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's... sure it's down here, though? Well, I'm not sure. I'll let, let, uh, let me check the freezer up here. See if this, this room's up. All right, so here I have this. I'll have a few pieces of this. And then I have this Peel de Vein Tail Off Shrimp. I'll probably make like, I don't know. Half the bag, probably, really. The shrimp scampi, and I'm going to make some rice, um, like I said. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the knife, cut up some onion and some garlic. Just give me one second, though. Keep it low. I'm just sharpening my knife. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, let's clean this knife because we just, we just sharpened it. So what a nice day it is today in upstate New York, guys. It's like in the 50s. Well, yeah, and it just feels so nice. Like we got out a little bit today and it just felt nice to get some vitamin D, you know, fresh vitamin D. But um, I think tomorrow, is it tomorrow? We're I don't know. I have to we might get a little snow or something tomorrow. How could it be 50 today and then tomorrow will be so crappy? I don't want it. I want that. I want spring. I cannot wait. I'm like ready, so ready to get out there and start planting my garden and getting my seeds going and getting my plants going. And I know we have time yet. It's only February. Well, it's almost, no, it's almost March. So hopefully. I don't know. I need spring. I need spring. Spring flowers. May flowers, what is it? May flowers brings, brings, what is it? April flowers brings May, April showers. April showers brings May flowers. That's what it is. So I'm just cutting up some galica. Galico. Mm. Excuse me. La, 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 la. I just had a beef jerky a few minutes ago. Scarlet smells so freaking good. Still hurts to um to cut to put pre pressure. Any pressure that I put down, like it really still hurts like that. I 
don't know why I'm pretending like I'm only going to use one part of the onion. I know I'm going to use the whole onion because I always say, oh, it's not enough onion. Because we are onion freaks. Yeah, so when I made that blooming onion, I definitely have to perfect it. It was okay. It was good. But it definitely needed to cook a little bit longer because down in the bottom of the onion, it wasn't cooked all. It wasn't like powdered all the way. Not that it had to, it had to cook a little bit more. And it also wasn't really um, crunch. It wasn't really um, the powder didn't make it all the way down. And the, and the onion was like unshaped. Like it wasn't shaped like that, like it's supposed to be. But I don't know if it ever will be when you make it homemade. You know what I mean? But um, I'm definitely gonna make it again. I'm just gonna, I'm just, per, I'll perfect it. You know what I mean? Cause it was delicious. I'm just gonna make fried onion rings like that, actually. The batter that, their batter, that their recipe was delicious. So. I think that I'm going to make onion rings. I have so many onions back there, too, that I really have to use them before they start getting little things on them. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to make this kind of diced. So I have, you know, um, you guys have seen my garden, my garden box. I've showed it to you before, but if you're new here, I mean, you could go look at my old videos I have, you know, from last summer and stuff. I have all kinds of garden um, videos up, but um, I, I have a garden and I'm going to, I want to extend it this year just a little bit because I want to make, I want it to be bigger because I want some other things this, this year. And so what I'm going to do is I, I got a, um, I looked at some YouTube videos and I found that, that people say that if you use uh, cinder blocks, you can like make like a, you know, like a square or whatever. So I'm going to extend it with cinder blocks, I think, because they're probably, they're, they're most reasonable. And, um, so I'm going to extend it with that and do that, um, because I definitely want a couple of more things this year. So I'm going to study and pick and choose which things I really, really want what I always do every year and then go from there. You know what I mean? Because um, I really want it to flourish this year. It flourished last year. A lot of things didn't flourish, but some things did. And I got like, I had nice tomatoes and the year before that I had done the zucchini and I had so many zucchini, huge zucchini and I didn't use them all. So I was like, you know what? Last year I didn't do zucchini and I regretted it. So this year I'm definitely doing zucchini again. Definitely doing zucchini again. Um, and definitely tomatoes. I always do tomatoes. Last year I did string beans and oh my God, they were amazing. I didn't get as much as I wanted. So that's why I want to do more string beans. I want to see if I can do cucumbers and peppers. I did some peppers. I had a few peppers it wasn't that great but um there's some certain things that i definitely want to do and um so i want to make room for that because this garden over here i had a lot of stuff in it and a lot of it was just crazy you know between the tomatoes and then just everything flourished and it was just so big and then i have to weed it and you know i don't know i hate to weed i really hate to weed so people say that if you put them in um in pots you don't have to weed because there's no, you know, weeds from the, from that, from the dirt in the pots. But maybe if we with the cinder blocks, I don't have to do that. I don't know. No, I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. I want it to be as easy as possible. I don't want to freaking weed if I have to, but I, I I'm going to have to weed because this one over here, the one that I have already, you have to weed. So, but anyway, that's what I got to do. I got to do it. All right, so I'm heating up some olive oil. 
Now, someone, one of my YouTuber friends said on here, why do I use the, why do I scrape off the, um, the, the stuff into by the handle? And I actually, I never even noticed it. I just did it that way. That's where I just always did it. Never really comprehended that, that that was there and everything. But I guess she's right. Like the handle, you hold it with the handle and then you put it in like that. And I was so, it was so funny. I was like, oh my God. I never even like comprehended that I did that. Like I just did it and I just did it. And not even realizing that it, you know, it wasn't the right way or whatever it is, you know. I mean, you could do whatever, however you want to do it, but I never comprehended. You know, she she pointed it out to me, which was smart because I never even really noticed that I did it like that. All right, so I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna have the onion saute a little bit. I'll wait like two or three minutes, and I'm gonna put the garlic in. Then I'm gonna add the water, and then I'll add the rice because I want it to be flavored. Um, because I want to make it not just white rice, I want to make it flavored rice. And I have chicken broth in the refrigerator that I'm going to get, my homemade chicken broth that I'm going to use to, um, to do that. Use to um, season it up. So you know what I did today, guys? We went, you know, we went, I told you I had the, my doctor's appointment, and, um, Using my simply uh, simply what is it? You cooking utensils. Um, I I made he I don't know if I tell you the story. He had a Cooper spoon. I put it in the microwave and I left it. I forgot to feed him. Well, I did that. I don't remember if I told you already. I uh, left it in the, in the microwave. I put it, heated it up and I left it and um, in the microwave and I forgot to give, give it to him. And when I got home, I realized it. I think I did tell you, yeah. really. Yeah, I did, right? Mm -hmm. um, well, I did two minutes ago. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I felt so bad, but he ate. So he had a late, he had a late breakfast. So I'm probably not gonna feed him till about 6.30, 7, because he, he ate, what time he ate? Like three something. Yeah, so I'm not going to feed him until probably about six or seven. Seven tonight. All right, so the onions are getting there. So I'm just going to put the garlic in. Mmm. The smell is amazing. Oh my God, this smells so good. I'm trying to think where to... No, I, don't, I don't like the way this smells. I don't like the way this smells, and I wonder if that's been in here too long. Linda, Linda, Linda. Give me a second. It smells. Um, so what I'll just do is I'll add some water and I'll add, I'll add some bouillon powder because I do have chicken broth downstairs, but it's in the freezer. So I'm not going to be unfreezing that right now, you know, defrosting that. So that's what I'll do. All right, so I got to put, once this is, this is starting to get to the point now where I need to put water in it because I don't want the garlic to burn. Um, I do want to put some, what's the matter? Um, in there. Um, what I want to do, guys, is I'd like to put a little bit of um, garlic and uh, onion powder in in here, just to give it a little, because it you know makes it a little toasty and it makes it give more flavor. 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 Just a little, because I don't want it to burn. So now I'm going to get the water because I've got to put four cups of water in. So I'm going to put this on for a second. Just for a 
what? And then I'll put the water in. So I was going to put four cups of water in. So I'm going to do, um, this is two cups. All right, so that's four cups. Then I'm gonna get, I gotta put two cups of rice in. And it's two cups of water to one cup of rice. put some there's olive oil in it already so I'm gonna put a little bit of butter like and a tablespoon or two of butter and like I said I'm not putting my chicken broth in so I'm gonna use my my um bouillon Chicken bouillon. I always forget how much to put in because I don't want to put an overly amount because I don't want to for it to be salty. But It says, uh, yeah, so one teaspoon for, so yes, I'm going to put a tablespoon because um, I have more water than what, it, than what it calls for. All right, so. Let's get the whiskey whisk. Let this come to a little boil, and then we're going to, Put it on a lower flame and cover it. We're going to season it up with some, just a little bit of salt. I'm not going to go crazy with the salt because um, we don't know, you know, the extent of the, I don't want to put, I think I'm going to wait for the salt actually. I'm going to wait. I'm going to put a little bit more onion powder. Because like I said, I want it to be flavored rice. So, I know, that chicken is so good. We got chicken from Chili's. It was so good. It was, um, Billy got, um, Parmesan. What is it? Garlic Parmesan? Garlic Parmesan. Oh, my God. It was so amazing. Oh, no, you got it. Yeah, I got to figure Flavor. out how to make oh that God. at home. I want to make that shit at home. So I put garlic powder, onion powder, and I put the bouillon on. Is Cooper still in the bedroom? Yeah. Oh my God, Cooper's laying in the bedroom on the bed for like the last hour. I don't know. I hope he's okay. Since he had that freaking seizure. Can't deal with it, guys. I really can't. Um, what, other, what other flavors do I want in this rice? I think I'm supposed to cover it. Oh, let me do some pepper. Where is the gatsi pepper? Where is the freaking pepper? Oh. Mm. Right, let's cover, let it come to a boil, 
and then we're going to let it, we're going to put it on the smaller thing and let it simmer. Um, and so then we got to get going on the shrimp and this is going to go in the toaster oven. Um, oh, you know what? I think I have a bag in there with some in it already from the other night. I do. We really like these, though. These are really, really good. What are these? Um, what are they? Pollock? I don't even know what the hell they were. Yeah, Pollock. Pollock. I thought they were, I don't even know what, what kind of fish it was. It was actually. I thought it was cod. But it's not. It's Pollock. I like Pollock, obviously. Whole fillets, not minced, yeah. The Gordon Fisherman. You ever see that commercial? Um, once this is done, I'm going to get going on the shrimp. The shrimp is going to kick and cook. It's going to kick very bad. Very, very um, um I'll switch these kind of things. Um, the shrimp is does not take long at all. Um, it's going to, I'm going to fry it up. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in there. Um... I think what I'm going to do with the shrimp, yeah, I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going... The shrimp? Oh, the chicken. I think you're talking about the chicken. Yeah. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to boil the shrimp, guys, for three, for like two minutes, because usually it's three minutes, but I'm going to be cooking the shrimp, too, anyway. So I'm only going to cook the shrimp, boil the shrimp for like a minute or two. And just so it, um, you know, it's basically just about there. And then um, I'll saute, I, I'll saute it, take all the water out. This way the shrimp, because the shrimp, if I put the shrimp in, in the frying pan fr frozen, they're going to create all this kind of water anyway. So I don't really want to do that because I want the shrimp to get a little bit of a crisp on it. So anyway, you know, a little caramelization. So I'm going to boil it first, empty out all the water, and then put it back in there, dry it up a little bit, and then put it back in there with um, the oil and the garlic and all of that. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do with that. So I'm just gonna let that come to a boil and then I'll throw the shrimp in for like two minutes. Um, no more than two minutes because it's gonna cook a little bit as well in the pan. I just said that. I, sometimes I repeat myself, I, I'm very sorry. All right. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna shut this off, I'm gonna switch. this over here and put this over here because I don't want I don't want this rice and I'm just gonna open just gonna um put the light on I know you guys really can't see sorry I'll put it back in a minute um just give it a little mix mmm smells so good and I'm gonna put it on low Okay. And let it, Alexa, set the timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. All right, so now. this is on high. This is going to simmer. You know what, Alexa, set another timer for five minutes. Second timer, five minutes. I like to um, check it and stir it like every five minutes because I want to make sure that it's not sticking because sometimes you know, the water evaporates too much. I never seem, when I make whole grain rice, you know, long grain rice, whatever, I always seem to have to add more water to it. Even when when I know what I'm supposed to be putting the right water in, I do, and it just, it's a, it always seems to dry up. So I always have to add more water. So I want to always make sure that the rice is, still has enough water in it, and it's not sticking and stuff like that. So I had to ask my friend Jerry Ellen, because she makes rice a lot, and she does a very good job at it and I'm not really great at it. I always used to use the instant rice, and I still do a little bit for Cooper and just for times when I don't really want to make the long grain rice, but um, I really like the, I like making the, the, the long grain rice, besides the fact it's so much cheaper than the, than the instant rice, but the instant rice is great. I, I really like instant rice. Like I like the way it comes out. I like, I like it, I like it, but I also like the other rice, and it's cheaper, and it, you get more for your money, so got to try to budget whenever you can budget you know what I mean yeah all right so um, okay so we're gonna wait till this comes up to a boil 
the, like I said, the shrimp isn't going to take long. Oh, I should have cut garlic up for the freaking shrimp. Now I got to cut more garlic up. And I'm going to make like a shrimp scampi. I think I have some white wine. I'm going to make a little butter, put a little butter in it, some lemon, some wine, uh, the cooking wine, and um, some seasonings. And we'll put it over our rice. And then we'll have some of the little um, fried fish with, it, with tartar sauce. Um, yeah, so let's get some, let's cut off a couple more pieces of garlic because we need garlic in our shrimp. In our shrimp. Just cutting the ends off. I don't get it. Cooper never lays like in the bedroom by himself for all that time. I hope he's feeling okay. He's always a little mushy after having yeah, a seizure. Yeah, he, after he had a seizure, he's a little bit, the next day he's a little bit. Do you remember how crazy he was this morning with the wood chocks? Oh, uh, yeah. He's fine. He's just a little shy. Just a little out of sorts, you know. He's trying to eat the poor wood chocks. Yeah, this morning he was trying to get to a wood shop. The poor thing was hiding in the corner. And Cooper was just like barking and going crazy, trying to get to it. The poor woodchuck just wanted to be left alone in his little corner, in his little hole. And Cooper wasn't having it. Note to self, be careful when you're doing this, especially if you have a really sharp knife, because I did this one day. I was doing this and just, you know, not even thinking, and um, I gave myself a nice cut. It hurt. It killed like freaking, especially when you don't realize you have it and you do you squeeze in lemon or something. Whoa! That's all I have to say, guys, is whoa. <laughs> it hurt like hell. All right, the water's boiling now, so we're going to put that shrimp in and like I said I'm going to do usually I would put the shrimp in for two minutes should I make all of the shrimp or some of it I don't know it's only the two of us it's two pounds it's one pound I'll make the whole bag. It's one pound, and I like shrimp like leftover and we'll eat it. Alexa, set the timer for two minutes. Third timer, two minutes, 30 now. All right. Let's do this. Oh, this. <laughs> Let's not do that. Because it doesn't fit with them. Uh, it loses its oil, you know. Alexa, stop. All right, so let's give this a mix, guys. Five minutes. Yeah, see? So it's it's not sticking, but it's getting to... It's getting to where it needs to be mixed. You see now, I feel like the water is like absorb like and is it gonna i should lower it maybe maybe the flame is too high i'm gonna lower it because like there's no more really not much water in it so is it gonna like get dried out because it's got like another 15 minutes to cook like i don't get rice i don't get this rice it stresses me out a little bit um let me see something While stirring, bring to a boil, then reduce heat, cover, and allow to simmer until water is absorbed. I'm not, you're not on it. I'm not on it. Um, so that's what it says. So it does say cover it. So I'm going to keep it covered. Alexa, set the timer for four minutes. Third 
timer. Four minutes. Starting now. See, this, this stopped boiling. Like, uh, it's only going to be cooking another, another, like, probably 60 seconds, another minute. But when it's done, it's done because I don't want the, the shrimp to overcook. If you overcook shrimp, um, it's not good. I'm not really happy with my hair today at all. You can see the gray. Ugh. Alexa, stop. I think that was the two minute timer. I'm gonna strain the um the, the, the shrimp um to my son's away from the sink there and then I'm gonna um, put it in with some olive oil and some butter and the garlic. Alright, my friends, here is my freaking rice with um shrimp scampi and here's my fish. I'm gonna turn you guys around and I'm gonna show you just a little snip of me eating all right let me show you guys <clears throat> i'm gonna have a little bit of the rice with the shrimp and there's koopy but there he is there he is so much love and what looking at koopy all right let's try a little bit of the rice with the shrimp mm. 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 <laughs> The shrimp is so tender. That's the ticket right there. Cook it quick. Keep an eye on it. The rice is absolutely amazing. The flavor. So good, guys. I'm going to take a little bite of the Gordon's shrimp. Half homemade. It's fish. Fish. <laughs> Half homemade, half not homemade. Mmm. Yummo. Best of both worlds here. All right, guys, we're going to eat. Um, I'll come back with my empathy quote. See you in a bit. All right, guys, so I ate my dinner. Oh, it was so good. It was so yummy. So. Um... This is my quote. I This was the first page that I went to, and it was the first quote that I saw, and I love it. Let our hearts be stretched out in compassion toward others, for everyone is walking his or her own difficult path. Let our hearts be stretched out in compassion towards others, for everyone is walking his or her own difficult path. I love that, guys, because it just shows that's what compassion and empathy is all about. Is realizing that everybody is walking their own path. You may think what's worse, what's happening to you is the worst thing in the world. Somebody else next to you could be having the worst worse than you or you better than you or more than you or whatever somebody else next to you is can still have as bad of as a, as a time as you it's not just you so if you have compassion for that other person in case that person is having a bad day or having a bad life or having a bad whatever you are already have compassion for that person because you know what it's like let our hearts be stretched out in compassion toward others. For everyone is walking his or her own difficult path. That's it. That's it. That's what compassion is and empathy is all about, guys. At realizing that everybody has their own stuff. 
everybody has their own stuff, whether it be good, bad, bad, indifferent, angry, mad, mad, sad, whatever. Everybody goes through it. Everybody goes through it. So you, just because you're going through something doesn't mean somebody else isn't going through something. We're all human. We all have issues. We all have to have compassion in our hearts for everybody. If everybody practices more empathy and more compassion for the other part, for the next person, I logically think there won't be as many fights, there won't be as many deaths, there won't be, to be as much hate. You're never going to be done with it fully. It's never going to be all gone. But if you can, if you can, if you can help people, if you can, you know, um, do a little bit for each person can do a little bit better, then it'll all come together. Whereas as a whole, you know what I mean? If this one's more compassionate, if that one is more em empathetic, is the one down the street more empathetic, whatever. If eventually, hopefully, it'll, it'll just, tr it'll trickle. It'll trickle down to everybody. I mean, all we could do is try. All we could do is try. What else can we do, guys? What else can we do? Can't do anything else. It's better than doing nothing. It's better to have compassion for, for your neighbor than to, than to not have compassion for your neighbor, you know, or empathy or, you know, to a point. I mean, of course, if there's danger and all that, there's, that's, you know, without even, that goes without even saying. I'm talking about rationalization stuff, r rational stuff. But anyway, guys, so that's what my quote is tonight. Please just have compassion and empathy for others because it goes a long, long way. It does go a long, long way. Practice it and you'll see. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that um, subscribers button. When you subscribe, it really helps my channel grow. And I so, so appreciate all of you and all of it. Don't forget to hit that notification button with that bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Like and share and comment down below. Thank you so much for coming into my kitchen with me in my home and creating. I love all of you. If you guys want to support my channel, go to my about and all my information is right there. Um, that's all you have to do. And that's, I'm just letting you know that. And anyway, that's it for tonight. So we'll see us tomorrow on the next. What did he just want to? He was out there for two seconds. He peed a lot. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Four. See you on the next video. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Love you. Bye.